Welcome to another Pixlet tutorial. And this tutorial is going to practice using the gradient tool and layer mask. And this is the finished image where the bench has been blended with the dog using a layer mask. And there's been a gradient applied to the right hand side of that image. So let's get started. And the first thing to do is to deal with the picture of the dog, which is, uh, it needs to be made transparent. So in Pixar, there's a number of tools that could do the job using the lasso to outline the dog and then the eraser. You can use the magic wand, which is probably a, a good tool in this case because there's such a large uh, area of white and it would make that easier to select or you could use a different tool altogether clippingmagic.com in this case I'm going to use the magic wand so select that turn off contiguous start with a tolerance of about 26 just to see how we go and then select that area and it does a fairly good job of selecting all of that white and isolating the dog. Then invert the selection so that everything but the dog is selected. Copy that and then create a new image. We'll call it transparent dog. Create the image from the clipboard and make it transparent. So we can close this one. And that's the image we're left with, which we're going to need later. So I'll close that for now. And then open the romantic bench. And first thing is to duplicate the layer. So we preserve the original. And we're going to put a gradient onto the right-hand side of this image. So it's just sort of shaded, a little bit darker going from dark to leaving the left hand side of the image as it is. So I'm going to select the gradient tool and select this particular gradient going from color on the bottom right to transparent up on the top left. It's red so I need to change the color, I don't want it to be red. So I'm going to select that one and just first of all click that marker and change the color to black. I know black's hex codes all zeros. So it's now black but it's still a bit too dark at the moment. Uh, the opacity of both of these are too dark. So the left hand side I want that to be a bit lighter. And the right hand side it's too dark also because if I draw that gradient now going from in a diagonal line from the top left down to the bottom right it's far too dark and it's obscuring the bench and it's it's too dark on the left hand side as well so I use the history to undo let's go back to that gradient and change the opacity so on the right hand side I don't want the opacity to be a hundred let's go to maybe 80%, try that. And then on the left hand side, I want that to be even lighter. And you can see it getting lighter as we do that. Now I want it to be a linear gradient and normal mode. You can also experiment with different modes. So let's try that going from top left to bottom right, drawing that line. And it's not as dark, it's a little bit better. It looks like it's in shadow, the sun's coming across. And the left hand side, which is where the dog's going, is lighter, so it looks pretty good. You can try a different one. So if I, if I made that a different, like hard light example, and see what sort of blending mode that would give us as a result. Does it change much? But you can experiment with all of the blending modes to see what sort of effect you get. And that one's not bad because it's made it a little bit redder. I actually like that one, so I'll keep that one. That's the overlay blending mode. 
and you could also try radial and see what sort of effect you got there. So now we need to add the dog. So a new layer and open images layer and open the transparent dog and move use the move tool to move the dog down in the lower left corner and resize it so edit free transform and hold the shift key just make it a bit bigger about there and apply the changes and now we apply a layer mask so with the dog layer selected and then I'll just rename that layer to dog select that layer and then add a layer mask the dog is disappeared it's behind layer background copy and we're going to use the paint brush to paint the dog back in and then add some shadow and I want the dog to sort of appear like it's sort of buried a little bit into the leaves so it's not sitting on top of the leaves but some of his body will be under the leaves uh, so make sure you've got the layer mask selected and then the brush tool and start painting in the dog and this part of it not going too long without letting go of the mouse so in case you need to undo it you don't undo all of your work so it's the the bottom of his body that i want to be buried a little bit in this in the leaves So some of his is uh, face, so I won't, we won't go under here and reveal that part of the dog that can stay buried in the leaves and his ear. And what's got down here? Some of the paw. That of ear. probably that about that much now the only thing that's coming through is the image of the dog so I can paint anywhere here and even though you know I'm painting a color nothing will appear because the only thing that's being brought through is that image of the dog there's nothing else the dog is only this big it's transparent everything else is behind it if I put a, an image of the dog that had the white and I painted around here, then that white would come through. Now I want to add some shadow to the bottom of the dog just to, to make it uh, a contrast from the leaves. So with the dog selected this time, select layer styles and put a drop shadow on. And immediately I did that, you could see a shadow appear under here because I've already got black and these levels here must be pretty well close to what I want so I turn it off and you can see that shadow disappear but it just it's a bit dark you can change the opacity to a bit lighter all the angles so you can experiment with that or we could try a different shadow altogether you know shadow doesn't look good Bevel's not the one, Outer Glow. There's a blue, if we change it to black to see what effect we get. No, it's no good because it's outlining the whole body. Turn that off. Inner Glow, similar. So it's the drop shadow that I want. And there's the finished picture. You can save that as a jpeg or png whichever format you want to save it as a tiff so to recap what we've done in this video is to practice the gradient tool and using some of the blend modes and using um, layer masks to also blend images with a gradient that's all for this video